Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of We Play Pokemon. If it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by hanging out with us. So, today's episode is going to be a little different. I don't have Jordan and Sophie with me today, but I did decide to record this because uh, my cousin told me he had about a dozen old, old Pokemon cards. And I said, how old? He said he has no idea. So he dropped them off in a binder with uh, his other cards and I decided to penny sleeve it and top load it and I said you know I, th I think you guys might be interested in seeing something that we have in our hands. So these are probably the oldest Pokemon cards that we have in our collection. This is not even, th these aren't even mine but I decided that I want to share with you guys what we have. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what cards we have here okay. Alright first one. Rhyperior, rare hollow. You can see the hollows are a little bit of bleeding all over the rest of the card. Might have been before they did full art hollows, but this came from a Diamond and Pearl set, uh, probably the Diamond and Pearl base set. And you know, the conditions are still really good. If you, if you guys look, there's very little whitening. The centering looks pretty good. Um, a little bit of whitening on the end here along the edge and a little bit there but other than that no scratches nothing major still a pretty good card so I was really excited when I was going through this I was like man how old are some of these cards and I realized that you know these these cards are at least 14 years old next card Luxray Diamond Pro set again base card uh, Luxray is a rare hollow. You can see the hollow is still pristine. If you look at the corners, no problem. Perfect, right? Centering looks good. Very little scratch or no scratch at all. And you can tell a little bit of whitening at the corners right here, here, and here. But other than that, it's a pristine card. Now I looked at I looked at some of the value of these cards and they were kind of all over the place because um, PSA 10 could bring it up to a few hundred and you could have like cards that's not in great shape could be a couple bucks so it's hard for me to just tell you what the market value is until we probably get it graded I would really recommend my cousin to send these off to get it graded um, and see what the final value of this could be once they are uh, graded. And the next card is a Palkia, same diamond and pearl. Uh, centering looks good, no scratches. The edges looks great. Back here, same thing. A little smudge right there. A little bit right there. Other than that, still in great shape. If anybody needs to finish their Diamond and Pro collection, this, these cards are definitely need to be in your collection, right? Totara, another Diamond and Pro set. Seems like my cousin got into Pokemon during Diamond and Pro uh, sets, and he just went and collected all the rares and probably chucked the rest because this is all he has. Uh, but look. You know, the spacing is right, no scratches, the edging looks great, backside, clean, clean, a little bit of whitening there, but if you hold it straight, yeah, you still see it, so yeah, a little bit of white right there, other than that, great shape. Let's put that there, we're going to run out of room, so let's move this over here. Next card is a Dust Noir. Still in the same set, um, Diamond and Pearl. Again, condition is still really good. Uh, edging looks great. Look, centering and backside looks good. A little bit of whitening in the corner. It might be dust right there, but hard to tell. But yeah, he. Uh, you know, I again, I would definitely recommend my cousin to send it off. Now you guys know PSA stopped taking, uh, I mean they have a 12 million card backlog, it's crazy. So everybody's just waiting on their cards to get graded. Another Palkia, 
Now this one's a promo, um, most likely coming out of Diamond and Pearl 2, I would assume. But look at that, full, full holographic bleed all the way across, to, even to the edges. Look at that, gorgeous card. Edge looks fantastic. Centering looks a little thicker on this side. Top and bottom looks good. Back side, clean, clean. Mean. Man, can we just get a 10 or a nine and a half? Oh, fumbling over here. Yep, so look, this another card, excellent shape, right? Next one, energy card. Dragon Frontiers. Uh, yep, it's a different symbol right there. Another card, full hollow. Real clean, excellent shape. Definitely need this to complete your collection right okay next card Cresselia X uh, this is still in a diamond and pearl set but it's a subset but once again full hollow all the way to the edge really clean no scratches look on the back side very little whitening Centering is clean. A little speck there, but again, that could just be dust. Another card that needs to be graded. Mag Mortar. There we go. Look at that. Now, I looked this one up, and it seems like there's two different art. I'm not sure which one's the standard, which one's the alternate, but they both look great. So, and this card is still in excellent shape. Right? Uh, no whitening there, a little speck there. Centering looks good. Same thing over here, centering looks great. Mag Mortar, level 48. Now, if you guys know what the level 48 means, comment below. Let me know what that means. I have no idea. Yep, 2007. Next card is Suicune. I think that's a Secret Wonder subset? I can't remember. Again, Secret Rare, Hollow. Again, this is Suicune, Rare Hollow. Uh, doesn't look like there's any Hollow Bleed going into the rest of the card, all the holographic is. And the artwork. Centering looks good. What is that? That might be, that looks like dust actually. Can you see that? Let's see, no, I think that might be dust. There we go. Great card. Another good card to have in your collection. Now we're down to the last two, and bam, Charizard. Yep, I think again, Secret Wonder. Card still in great shape. You can see the hollow bleed going throughout the card. Centering is great. Edging looks great. Very little whitening around the edge. Little speck there. Maybe not be a 10, but overall, still a card that's in great shape. A must have in your collection if anybody's collecting Charizards. You gotta reach out to my cousin and see what he's willing to sell that for, right? And the last one is a Pichu. Now, when I saw this card, I was like, where is the symbol? I know that's a symbol for rare, but other than that, what is it? Then I saw it up here. Huh. I looked it up, and this came from the Neo Genesis collection. The Neo Genesis set. Condition seems to be in great shape, right? Um, look how beautiful that background is. Look at that. Look at that. But when I flipped it around, I saw that it had a good bit of whitening around the edge. So whoever handled it didn't, didn't really do a good job. Not a 10, but 8 or a 9. And I think at eight or nine, this would fetch a couple hundred bucks. Still a great car to have. 
in your collection for anybody who's collecting Neo Genesis right now. Everything is just way overpriced to get. So get these loose cards, get into your collection and finish them up. Finish them up. Pichu, pre-evolved form of Pikachu. Yep, now I have to give this back to my cousin. I had a great time just going through them, looking at it, sleeving them, top loading them, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Well, that's all I have guys. Take care. Bye.